Free will is not real for most people. So there are three philosophical beliefs of free will. One, libertarian free will. Two, compatibilism. And three, determinism. I'm a firm believer in determinism. So what is determinism? The idea that all events including human actions, are determined by prior events and that free will is an illusion. When you study natal charts, the Enneagram, Chinese astrology, medical astrology, financial astrology, numerology, you can develop an understanding of what is meant to be will be. You are who you are before you get here. Environment plays a role in shaping your behavior and world views. Undeniable psychological fact. That's not what I'm talking about. You see, your subconscious mind makes decisions for you before your conscious mind raises any questions. The brain's ability to change and adapt in response to experiences is something called neuroplasticity. Means that your personality traits are not fixed and can evolve over time, but subconscious behaviors are programmed. For people who never become aware of their subconscious, how do they evolve through the programming? They don't. The average person is generally not fully aware that their subconscious mind is running a significant portion of their life. You see, you can't undo what you're not aware of. Experiences that you must engage in your lifetime in order for soul development cannot be avoided. Behavioral epigenetics reveals that our genes carry more than just physical traits. Experiences from our ancestors like stress or trauma can leave chemical marks on and within our DNA, influencing how our genes express themselves. If you need a reference on this topic, just Google epigenetics rat experiment. It explained everything for you. So what I'm saying is there are generational traumas that are embedded in you that need to be reversed and are unavoidable. Your idea of free will cannot stop. What's inevitable?